careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Is it finally over? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyue Harbor would surely have been in great... Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which... Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building... At first, it was only the size of a small room. But with continued ex it is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the back- Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please... Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue. 3,700... Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone just as it was thousands of years before. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see... <laughs> Forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. 
Each passing generation of the Qixing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qixing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. Establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as... But I dared not speak. I could only... Aw, Ningguang! Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? Right! That's something that the Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two... Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars. Though your point is the very height of simplicity... As Adepti, we've become a laughing stock. To be chastised thus by an... All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come... I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered, although I am a mere mortal soldier. I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and taste me. Thanks for protecting me. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to protect. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. You see, this is what Liu, the country of contracts, is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely, although their blood is weak. There is still strength to... The time of contracts between gods and Liu has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liu... Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Your line of inquiry is askew. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror... One fears that by the time one finally grasps... Fair enough. Hmm. <sighs> Since we Adepti have consensus, but how will we ensure that the Liyue Qixing will not simply exploit their power once we depart, in my view? <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All swerve it is. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on our own. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the... Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adept... 